The following live program has mature content. Viewer discretion is advised. Welcome back to Sex Matters. Did you know that there are some things that you do every day that can help both women and men have more pleasurable sex? Here to give us some tips and techniques on how to use breath and pelvic exercises is Angela Barsati. Thank you for being here. Thanks for having me. So your specialization is in the world of, of pelvic and breath, and, but you didn't, didn't always work in that arena. What led you to it? Um, I got in a car accident. I had never been particularly into sex. I didn't really get what the fuss is about, but I got in this car accident. I got whiplash. My body stopped working. I got disconnected through my pelvis, and I couldn't tell the difference between having to pee and having to urinate. Right. I'm sorry, and being horny. Being horny. Those are the same thing. Yeah. And, uh, and, so, and so eventually it got weird to me that I could be this passionate human who didn't care about sex, so I went looking. And I had all these clients who were postpartum who had, were basically not working either. Yeah. And so I ended up learning a lot in a really short time about how sex and breath and exercise all sort of come together and all of a sudden it's a specialty and I'm teaching workshops so. and all of a sudden your sex drive came back right like you sort of was well, like well I found it I went looking for it um, and yeah it, it was really interesting that the more that I tuned into my body and the more that I learned how to breathe into my body and the more I started to connect my pelvic floor with exercise I started to feel oh <laughs> I, I'm starting to get what the fuss is about. Yeah. Okay. And, and so once I started tying breath into what was actually happening to me, like playing with breath with my orgasms, it's actually Betty Dodson's fault. Yeah. She, she like wrote something about shifting into some crazy breath and, and um, settling down for a nice long orgasm. I'm like, wait a minute, what? So I got curious. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> that, and for people who don't know, Betty Dodson is this famous sex educator who's yeah. taught women for ages how to masturbate. So she yeah. does do a lot of work with breath. And so for you, I mean, like I think people think about breathing and sex and they think it just automatically happens, right? Most people hold their breath. But yeah, that's the thing is that the, most women, when they get closer to an orgasm, or a lot of women, and mm -hmm. maybe men too, you, you can be so, especially if you're having trouble having orgasms, you can really hang on to that and yeah. stop breathing, which yeah. can really impede your pleasure. So talk to me about breath. Breath and 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 how that relates to orgasm and how that can help. Well, let's just start there. Okay. okay well, breath. Um, incidentally, one of the reasons that women have trouble releasing to orgasm is because nobody teaches them to release their pelvic floor. So that's how come they get tenser and tenser and tenser and tenser and tenser, and then they for sure can't come because they're locked in this tight little body and they can't let it go. Um, and so breath can help with that. And mm -hmm. so when you take a breath, um, there's your diaphragm and your pelvic floor, and they basically move like this. And, and your pelvic floor is everything within your hips that kind of holds up. It's a musculature that holds up your organs, right? It's, it's you know, these muscles okay. right here. It's, it's right not there. even up here. It's, it's this. Right, right there. Those okay. muscles yes. right there. It's like a net of muscles that yeah. kind of fit like this together. And so when you inhale, your pelvic floor drops and spreads out and when you exhale it kind of comes together and up like like a jellyfish swimming so just when we're just naturally doing that just naturally breathing okay. but most people don't actually know about that or anything yeah. and so if you want to kind of know how that feels um, if you take three normal breaths just sit there taking three normal breaths and then you hold like you're trying not to pee the worst trying not to pee ever and then try to breathe yeah. you'll find you can't breathe yeah. you're like stuck there's nowhere to go and it's because you've impeded this natural flow that has to happen and right. so then when you're having sex if you can say inhale when your partner is leaving you and exhale when your partner is coming in you can start to massage them and that kind of thing okay so what's a, so let's talk about you've got some techniques that you've you've you work with clients with who want yeah. to work on this so one of which was a, is a laying down position with your describe that one which one where my people like yes, this yes, that one okay. yes um, the reason that you do that is if you're lying on your back with your soles of your feet together and you squeeze your feet together, you start to connect up through the inner thigh line. Okay. And the musculature of your inner thighs connects to the muscles of your pelvic floor. It's actually, they're married. Kind yes. Of married. So um, you squeeze your feet and then a little bit squeeze like you're squeezing an exercise ball with your knees and then you squeeze from your thighs. But you don't actually move your knees together. You no, just kind of resist. Actually, yeah, it's very still. There's no yeah. actual action. And then you pull up, like, from inside. So as though you've walked into a very cold lake and your pink bits hit the water. Yeah. 
So you know that little, like, yeah. Yeah. So, and then you release it as and well. And then you release on your inhale. Okay. So you inhale and let go, exhale, squeeze feet, knees, inner thigh, and kind of pull up. And you don't want anything to move except maybe your knees just a smidge. Okay. Like it's really still. Okay. And then, so um, you've also brought along a ball. Yes, for you. To sit on. Okay. Actually. Would you like me to join you in the sitting? Yes, please so do. You know that, I really, uh, right. so I'm alone with my too. ball. Okay, right, so, so you take this ball. Okay. And you sit on it. All right. And this chair isn't hard, lucky you. Okay. If the chair were firm, you'd feel it more. Yes. All right, so now sit back just a little. Mm -hmm. Okay, now inhale and try to release around the ball. <laughs> <laughs> and exhale, imagine you're pulling your pelvic floor from inside together and up. Okay, so what is this supposed to be doing for me, though? Mostly introducing you to your pelvic floor. Okay. All right, so inhale, try to kind of spread. Yeah. And then exhale, think of pulling right through there, together and up. Okay. All right, and then inhale, release around it. You actually feel a little tiny yeah. up and down, right? Yeah. Okay, so. So if you did that for like five breaths, yeah. when you come off the ball yeah. and sit like back down normally, you'll be like all kind of just a little, right? You're just a, little... a little bit more pleasant right now sitting here. <laughs> <laughs> Incidentally, this is not an arousing exercise, but it does give you this sense of, of release and spreading out. Yeah. And so if you're a woman who can't release to orgasm, this is a super simple way to try to get it to let go yeah and if it still won't can I suggest consulting an osteopath because you can actually be locked up in your pelvic floor diaphragm okay you want to get someone to release that for you and then just really quickly next we have to go to a break but for men um, this can help with ejaculation uh, ejaculatory control as well right absolutely a lot of men will have stamina issues because they don't work their pelvic floor at all and so there's no muscle support there for their penis when it's hard and so basically it can't stay hard there's all sorts of other things that contribute of course but I wish that with drugs, people would also suggest exercise because right. if they work their inner thighs and their pelvic floor and their low belly, maybe they won't need Viagra. Maybe they won't need Viagra anymore. <laughs> and and interestingly, I'm working with a man who's like utterly premature, and this guy has great legs, like great legs, right? Yeah. Nothing, nothing in his inner thighs. Like so he's literally just like this. Yeah. So I'm interested to see what will happen in the next few months with him. Absolutely. So. We are, I've got a couple more questions, but it's time now for a break here on Sex Matters. We'll be right back. Stay with us. The following live program has mature content. Viewer discretion is advised. Welcome back to Sex Matters. We're talking about sex, breath, and pelvic floor with Andrew, Angela Barsotti. So uh, just quickly, what is something that people can take home tonight to try out in terms of sex and breath and pelvic floor? Um, start paying attention to how your breath actually relates to what's happening in your body. If you're a guy, when you're, uh, you know, fighting the urge to have an orgasm, you want to wait maybe and come with your partner, start breathing into those tense muscles and ask them to release. Ask your low abdomen to let go and start finding that breath control. And for women, honestly, just inhale, release him. Exhale, ask him to, you know, bring him in. And think not just of squeezing from the bottom. There's a huge tunnel of muscle up there. Don't just, don't just use the bottom. Use the whole thing. And will this lead to bigger and longer and stronger yes. orgasms? Yes, absolutely. Really? Yes, I know women who claim to have orgasms that last for 45 minutes to an hour. So you can just bring yourself up to that peak and, and then, then hang out and hang out for yeah. a while and bring it back up again and hang out. Yep. And as long as people are just not in the bedroom, like breathing, like like heavy breathing, like you can do it in a subtle way, right? Oh yeah, you don't have to do anything fancy. And if you're doing that practicing, sort of inhale, bring them, let them out, exhale, bring them in thing. If you keep doing that in the easy parts, when you speed up, your body will probably keep on doing that nice little amazing. Right. And teach your pelvic floor to release if you're a lady. Practice just makes perfect. Yeah, let it go. Thank you so much for being here. Thank it was a pleasure so much chatting with you. Be sure to join us tomorrow night as we kick off our December sexy gift ideas with a look into two super sexy dance forms. We've got giveaways and you can follow us online 24 hours a day at cp24.com slash sex matters for past episodes, blogs and advice. We want to hear from you. Send your questions to sex at cp24.com or you can send a tweet to at sex matters TV. Thanks so much for joining us. Have a great night.